Hi, right, Cobby Adventures. Out here are looking for Bigfoot, signs of Bigfoot. Nice and quiet and beautiful out here. Listen to the birds. That's what I love. Just getting out here where there's nothing. Just you and the birds and animals and nature and hopefully Bigfoot. We'll go on down the trail and see what we can find any signs. This looks like it could be a really good place for them. So. Bedding down right here. For sure. Something's been sleeping here. Underneath this little tree through here. Definitely something's been walking through here. Well, definitely looks like there might be bears here. Looks like bear scat. Looking for some tracks. I just don't see no tracks. Some tracks over here. Big possibility. Well, that's kind of a strange one. One, two, three comes around there like that that's a track that's a big ass track it definitely ain't a bigfoot I have no idea what it is but it looks like a big footprint to me goes around here like this comes around here goes all the way over to here it's got one two three looks like four toes comes back here like this i have no idea what that is it looks like another one right here they're pretty washed out and here's like a one two three toed maybe four toes right here well, this is kind of interesting Then here's a foot, look like it had claws on it going this way. Man, we're just picking up quite a few tracks right here in this spot. Interesting. Anyhow, we're going to keep looking around here. Some cow shit cow doo-doo I should say yes there are cows out here but there's definitely a bear out here too that's a pretty big track right there and there's another one right beside it could be a mountain lion I think there's a mountain lion out here too gotta watch out for them especially when you got things up above you like you're in the canyon like that it comes by they like to pounce on you so you gotta always keep your eyes looking out for bobcats i mean not bobcats i mean mountain lions <clears throat> bobcats you don't have to worry too much about mountain lions you do though anyhow we're gonna go on down the trail a little farther that was one big ass track back there i have no idea what that one is doesn't really look like a Bigfoot. It looks like something else. Anyhow, we're going to keep going down this trail. Oh, here's another track. It's pretty old. Definitely looks like a mountain lion. Definitely mountain lions around here. Yeah, keep my eyes open for those guys. And it's beautiful out here, isn't it? All right. It's more tracks that are pretty washed out by rain and weather. That's what's up there. I don't see nothing up there, but it's a lot of cover up there. Good place for a mountain lion to hang out. Jump right down on you. This place is beautiful, isn't it? Check it out.
Yeah. We keep moving on down the trail and see if there's anything else down here. Got a lot of ground to explore out over here. All right, looks like we got some kind of a footprint right here. Yeah, it's an old one, but it definitely looks like it could be. There's one toe, two toes, three toes, four, and then it comes back here. Here's the hill around here. It's pretty good size too. Let's see. Yep. I'm size 13, so you can see it's probably about 20 inches. Definitely. I'd almost say we just found a track. Probably a Bigfoot. Let's keep going down this trail and see if we find some more. There should be some over here. I can sense it. You can sense it when something's here. You can feel when there's animals watching you. I think Bigfoot has moved over to here. I'm getting a strong feeling that he's around here, especially after that track. That track pretty much looks like a Bigfoot track. Without a doubt. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of washed out. But it's definitely got toes, toe marks. And it's definitely bigger than my foot. Alright. I've totally found a new place to explore for Bigfoot. I did find some evidence so far. And we'll definitely have to come back to this place. Without a doubt. Be making several trips back in here. Going back in farther and farther. See if we can find more evidence. But so far today, as far as I went, seems to be a lot of evidence here. In this area. A lot of evidence. Once again, this is uh, Cobby, and uh, I'm kind of impressed what I found so far today as I'm walking through here. I'm looking still. Found a lot of different tracks. We found mountain lion tracks, bear tracks, bear dew, and also found two or three tracks that totally look like we have some Bigfoot over here in this area here but uh, I definitely found some tracks and this is definitely gonna be our new spot to come and keep looking you know how you when you walk through somewhere or something you feel like something's around you or near you you get that kind of feeling too when you're tracking you know something's close by you kind of make that connection with the outdoors with them when you love the outdoors you make connection with the outdoors. If you love what you're looking for, you usually find it. As a photographer, knowing when I go out to shoot photos and stuff, if I'm feeling it, then I usually run into the deer or run into the bear or whatever I'm looking for. I run into it and I get, I get to be able to take a shot, two or three shots, or maybe film some video. Well, <clears throat> that's the same way with Bigfoot. They do pick you up when you come into their paradise. This is their paradise. They're the masters of the outdoor. The animals are, not us. There's different ways to track animals and stuff. One of the best way of tracking animals to become part of the, the landscape and pick up the feelings of the animals just like you can pick up the feelings of your dog and stuff and your dog can pick up your feelings that's you got to be in that kind of mode when you go out to look for things or you won't run into them and you won't find them or anything 
because just plain old tracking doesn't get you there. You got to be in the mode. You got to be in the. You got to be open to feeling the environment around you, so you can find these things. Anyhow, we're out here, middle of nowhere. Hear the birds chirping and stuff. One plane flying over. But other than that, it's pretty quiet out here. He'll be coming back out here a lot more, looking for Bigfoot, and we'll see what happens. This is Copy Badger's Adventure. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down there and make sure you give me a thumbs up because that helps out to move the videos to the top of the list so more people will watch them. And uh, wow, it's beautiful out here. God's creation. Look at it. Totally beautiful. Praise God every day. And don't forget about your Lord and Savior is Jesus is mine. Hopefully it's yours too. Anyhow, God bless. Thanks for watching. Wow. It's beautiful out here. I could just stay out here. Catch you guys later. Copy out until next time.